everybody. Uh, it's that time again, monthly update time. So this is for uh, June of 2022. So as usual, we'll start with the main piece, which is the Soulful Mediterranean Tranquility, the large version. Hopefully, yeah, you can see the whole thing in the camera there. And uh, so that is on 14 count Ada, uh, DMC two threads, full cross. And uh, we are finally, we have our first uh, swan here in the, uh, in the um, fountain there. So yeah, I was excited to get to that. I made a mistake last time I said that I was two thirds done, but actually I was 60% done. I'm now just under 65% done. So we're closing in on two thirds. So we should pass two thirds this month. But uh, yeah, so that's really exciting and uh, coming along nicely. And again, yeah, this is a large version because RDC has uh, two, one that's about 200 by 300, and this one is the 540 by 410. So yeah, it is very, very big. All right, so that is the main one that you see in my Stitch With Me. The Marvelous Garden that I started. And if you read my notes, I discovered after I made that video, I screwed up. So I made a mistake where I stitched with the color 01 here, this kind of grayish, it's called white tin by DMC, one of the newer colors, and it was supposed to be 01 white. That's what um, Heaven and Earth Designs labels white as 01 on the list, and or no, white is one on the list, and white tin is 01, and I used the white tin, so. Right, uh, so uh, yeah, unfortunately, all of that is wrong. I'm going, I was gonna unpick it, but I realized that is a lot of work. So instead of what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rotate my fabric 90 degrees, and I'm gonna do a smaller one, Deer Creek, on this one, which uses up to about there, from here to there. So I can just pretty much cut that right off, the part that I messed up. And uh, then that way I don't have to try and unpick over 10,000 stitches, because that'll just drive you mad, right? So. Yeah, and this way I didn't lose all my gritting either because that was a fair amount of work to get all this done as I do it myself. And uh, I really didn't want to lose all of that work as well as the stitching work. So, and I also don't waste this piece of fabric because someone said, you know, just chuck the whole thing away. I'm like, yeah, but the fabric's not cheap. So yeah, this way kind of can salvage the best of both worlds with it. I can still use the fabric. All the gritting isn't wasted, but I also don't have to unpick my entire mistake. So yes, be very, very careful. Um, if you're using um, a Heaven and Earth Designs chart, I don't know if this is for other designers, but for them, whether it's one or 01, one is the white and 01 is the white tin. So uh, really, really look at your um, mock-up or whatever and see which one it is because yeah, I should have noticed that the clouds were a lot brighter than they were appearing on the actual stitching because I used the wrong color. And I had someone say, you know, you could just keep going and say that they're stormy clouds, but I'm too much of a perfectionist and that would have really annoyed me. So yeah, we will restart that at some point. I am still gritting up the fabric for Marvelous Garden after that uh, mistake. And uh, I haven't had much of a chance, so I don't know if I'll make a start on it this month or whether it will be down the road. So stay tuned for that. And then the last one is the knitting project which I didn't get as much done as I'd like, but I did add uh, two and a half more stripes to this. So I'm finally at the very last ball of yarn, yay! So this is just for the edging. And I've knit this in stocking at stitch, and then the edging will be garter stitch, which is like the ridges. And um, that helps a bit with the curling, but there is still some, I find the edge will flip over a bit. And so I will be blocking that with a steamer, a fabric steamer, and I will eventually at some point make a video to show you how I do that to get it to lie nice and flat uh, as this is acrylic so you can't use the traditional blocking like you could with a natural fiber like wool or cotton but uh, yeah I've I always block my acrylic pieces with steam now and they just I, I'm so happy with how they look they lie all nice and flat and the nice thing is you do it once and then it's done forever it doesn't matter when you wash it it's not going to revert back to its original pre-blocked state like a wool or again a cotton would all right so I am going to get that done at some point, but I had to take over, as I said, someone else's knitting pattern or project for them. Uh, and so I haven't had as much time to work on this one. So I'm hoping to get this edging done this month, but not going to promise anything. All right. So um, 
that's everything that I've been working on. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much, everyone who's liked and subscribed. And that really just makes my day. All right. So I will see you for another update next month. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.